Okay, wow. Swarmageddon, it's on. Two swarms today. I'm finally getting around to what I was primarily trying to get done. Get these feeders off. Set this aside. Uh, I knew it was going to be a bad week. <laughs> hey, Dad, is my hive tool over there? Like I said it somewhere. Hang on a second, folks. Story of my life. Can anyone else relate? I think there's an invention that is something that goes on your belt clip that your hive tool snaps to. It's magnetic. Now I know why. All right. I think the other thing we can do might be time to uh, pull these uh, bottom boards out too, but I'm not super worried about that at the moment. I can do that anytime. Let's go ahead and get these rapid feeders off. Definitely gonna need cleaned up. The uh, risk of starvation in this area is pretty much over. So we got, we are right on the front end of our flow. Okay. I always quickly scan for my queen here. All right. Let's see how this colony, this colony looks pretty good. Got some nice drones here. Somebody made a comment uh, about the smoker having an issue and they were completely spot on. The top here was completely plugged up and I just hadn't been paying attention. And of course, uh, now it's working infinitely better. So, not quite drawing that one yet, which I suspect would be the case. But I see some fresh wax on this one. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we got. We got some fresh nectar. Lots of nectar in this one. Lots of drones. Looking pretty good. Some nectar in the top of that one. So pretty good. I suspect this one might be similar. Now we got brood in this one. <laughs> Open brood, little bit of capped brood, some nectar, pollen. I'm looking for, uh, no, that's drone brood. Looking for uh, swarm cells, which I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to see in quite a few of my colonies because... Well, I know two of them have already swarmed. Oh, it's a heavy colony or heavy frame there. Quite a bit of drone brood, a lot of drone brood. Don't see any swarm cells. Wait a minute. Yep. What's that? Is that drone? Nope, there's a swarm cell right there. And it's capped. So actually there's several. There's one that's already blown. This colony, it's possible they already swarmed if I don't see my queen in here. But they are going to swarm. There could be a virgin running around on here. So let me show you the on the camera here. You see the queen cells there? There's two of them, Look like little peanuts. There's one there and one there. See it? Right there at the bottom where you typically see them. Very calm bees. Let's see. Good looking colony. I bet this frame, you can't really see on the bees. There's drone brood, but it's just covered with 
capped worker brood also. Uh, uh, I'd like to split this colony, but not sure if that would suppress them enough at this point because you've got capped queen cells. So I also want to make sure I don't leave them queenless if I don't find my queen in here. Uh, this is mostly food. I'm trying to see if I see any eggs. Definitely some young larvae on here. Really young larvae. I don't see the queen yet. Maybe she's on this side. Or again, maybe she already swarmed. So I've got the capped queen cells there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't see any queen cells on this one. So, so far just that one frame. And there's still quite a few bees in here. But it's, it's not jammed by any stretch of the imagination. I am trying to find one or two colonies I can identify that would be good to split and put in the resource hive. So we've got a queen cell over here, another queen cell. Another queen cell. Several queen cells. At this point, if I find the queen, I'm probably going to go ahead and split this colony. And put some of those queen cells into the resource hive. So I'm just going to stand up here with the sun over my shoulder. See if I can find my queen. Again, she may already be gone. She may have been in that... Uh, one of those two swarms today. <laughs> My dad was asking me which uh, colony, colonies I think they came from. And I said, I'll probably be able to tell once I get into the bees. Uh, okay, no queen. Not yet. Keep searching. Oh, look at that drone brood on the bottom. Wow. We really went to town on that. <laughs> and I haven't seen like any fresh eggs, so I'm wondering. Oh, wait, do I hear piping? I thought I heard piping. I heard a queen piping. Oh, I swear I hear piping. You got a virgin in here? Jeez, that drone comb is wonky. I'm going to scrape that off. Yeah, this colony could be in the process of requeening itself after swarming, so um, I am going to get this crazy drone brood off. But I'm going to set it on here cause just in case the queen happens to be on there. I don't want to, but I'm going to scrape it off because that's just wonky. This is why I think next year, folks, I'm going to try those. Uh, there we go. I think next year I'm going to give those drone drone frames a try to give the bees a place, well, the queen a place to actually raise drones. So, yeah, I've not seen eggs yet, although I've seen some pretty young larvae, so she literally could have just left today. And if that's the case, and they're in the process of requeening, I don't want to disturb this hive too much. 
check this last frame here. So many drones. That's what these are right here, by the way. People ask, whoa, what's that yellow or that uh, white looking insects in my hive? Well, those are drones. Look at that. Beautiful. That, that's fresh capped drone brood. I wonder if I have a brand new queen in here. That's a nice looking frame. All right, let's take a look on this side. Now, well, there's another blown queen cell and another queen cell. I swear I hear piping, but there could be several virgins running around in here getting ready to throw down. <laughs> I just don't see any. Trying to find eggs. And I don't see any. Check out this frame though. It's so nice. Just wall to wall there. She could have done that before she flew the coop. But, okie dokie. There are bees on this last one here, so let's take one last peek. I'm just trying to be thorough. Watch out, watch out, watch out. No. Wait a minute. No, it's nectar, as you would expect. as you would expect. Same with this connector over here. Okay, well, I think this hive is in the process of requeening itself. Lots of queen cells, some that have already emerged. So we're just gonna leave this colony alone. And I'm gonna flag it as not certain it's queen right and uh, we'll put this one as a as a watch but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, super them because there's still there's a lot of bees in this colony so even if they have swarmed uh, there's nothing from you know they they could end up doing a cast or a, or a secondary or tertiary swarm but it is what it is I'd like to get some honey off this colony, so I really don't want to split it. There's quite a few bees in here, and there's, what was that, four or five frames of capped brood. Some of it wall to wall, so. Again, could be a, uh, could be another swarm coming. That's okay, hopefully we just catch it. It is going to decrease the amount of honey, but I still get lots of honey off of these uh, singles, so. Okay, next I need to grab a queen excluder. Put that on here. All right. And let's get our first super on. Now, typically I would open the entrance, the disc, on these uh, on these supers, when I put them on, especially the start of a flow, I put it on the uh, queen excluder. But with this colony, I believe currently requeening itself. I'm going to leave them closed for just for now. Just for now, leave it closed. Because I just don't want to take the chance that a virgin comes back above the queen excluder, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and get our spacer. Get the 
be spaced out. This is all drawn comb. So it immediately gives the bees a place to start storing that nectar that they're bringing in. Get this next one on. Hi, Peanut. You want to come over here and see the bees? My daughter is coming over here to see what daddy's doing. Hi, Peanut. Yeah, what's daddy doing? What's daddy doing? Huh? He's taking a picture. No, I'm not taking a picture. I'm shooting a video. Can you say hi? Say hi. How, did, how does a bee go? Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Bzzz. There's lots of bees out here, isn't there? Tell daddy what song you were listening to that you like. Hello. Say my girl. You say my girl? It's a bug. It's a bug. It's a bee. Is there a bee on Daddy? Yeah. There's probably lots of bees on Daddy. All right. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Let's get this one uh, finished back up. All right. Phew. Make sure those are evenly spaced here. Looks pretty good. Okay. Let's get our top on. And I'm going to leave, I'm going to put the, obviously the heavy brick on. With all this drone brood on it, which I'll shake off here in a minute. But I'm not going to put the red brick on because again, this colony is likely requeening itself. So... I'll put a watch on this one, which kind of tells me not having the red brick on there to keep an eye on it. And uh, hopefully those uh, virgins in there, one of the virgins in there can uh, successfully get mated and return to the hive. I've got these entrances closed off because I want to make sure she finds her way back down below. So, okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's take a look at this next one. Man, it's been a busy day. Three swarms and counting. I can't keep up. I'm just trying to get my normal stuff done. The bees have other plans. I knew it was going to be trouble when it was this beautiful outside. I mean, this is going to happen. Okay. Combed up in here a little bit. Not bad. I'll shake these bees out. Okay. Done with the feeders. Got a little bit of brace comb off here. Looks like it's got drones in it. Yep. Yep, sorry drones. All right. Pop this a little bit. Okay. Let's see what we're working with here. I'll go ahead and clean up this. Set that aside and I'll process that later. This colony is not as big as some of the others, so I wonder how this queen's doing. There's some nectar there. We're gonna find out. Yep, 
connector coming in. Okay, that looks good. I already see plenty of drone brood at the top. Let's make sure I see worker brood. Okay, we've got a queen cell, open brood. This could also be one of the colonies that swarmed. So that's a queen cell right there. I'll leave that alone. Looking at the other side, we've got some nectar in there. Another queen cell right here. Not a very big one. Capped brood. Okay. I don't see any eggs yet or young larvae. So this colony could have swarmed. Let's see what this one shows. Oh, we got clunky drone brood on the bottom. Bee bread. There's some larva in here. Capped brood on this side, but I don't see any eggs. That is some wonky drone brood. Still don't, I'm looking for eggs. Scanning for a queen. I suspect she's not in here. I suspect this colony's already swarmed. I'm gonna scrape that drone brood off also. Just makes a mess. There we go. Okay. That's a lot cleaner. Now, I just realized I don't have my uh, veil zipped up. That might be a good idea. <laughs> All right. God. It's like one of those busy days when I'm not paying attention to stuff I should be. All right, let's take a look at this one. Okay, more capped brood. Yeah, I don't think this colony's queen right. It might be in the process again of requeening. I do see some young larvae in there, but I don't see eggs. So I think the queen probably left a few days ago. Plenty of food in here. Lots of nectar coming in. Population is gonna get a boost, but um, with all this emerging brood, it's getting ready to come out, but yep, I'm pretty sure that this colony already swarmed on me, which is okay. Might be the one that I just caught behind me today. A little bit of capped brood here, and there's a queen cell that's open. So, you know, we could have a virgin running around in here somewhere, one or two, I suspect. And there's uh, two more open queen cells and that one is still capped so and look at all this uh worker brood here that's capped that's getting ready to emerge so like i suspected this colony is in the process of requeening itself which is just fine take a look at this last frame here time will tell how much uh honey i'm able to pull off this colony we got Drone brood up here, worker brood in the middle, food surrounding it, more worker brood there. Yeah, I think our queen flew the coop. Okay. Not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and super them up. Um, do the same thing that I did with the other colony, though, where I put the queen excluder on. And the only, I'm only given that virgin one entrance to come back in. We're, again, we're going to have a stretch of really nice weather here. Good weather for virgins to go on their mating flights. And with all that emerging brood coming out and the flow just starting, I could get a super maybe off this colony. But it's not, you know, boiling with bees like some of the other ones. But that's fine. Watch out. I'm going to scrape this off, clean this up a little bit. All right. 
Okay, let me go grab a queen excluder. There we go. Put our I'm actually gonna put the uh, this white super on first. It's got a little bit more drawn comb in it. There we go. Space these out. Looking good. Make sure the entrance is closed, and it is. Okay, that looks good. Let's get our second one on there. Again, verifying the entrance is closed. Spread these out. Oops. Back's already getting sore. <laughs> if you ever want to if you're uh, wondering what ideas, gift ideas, maybe to get a beekeeper in your life. Maybe your hubby or your wife is a beekeeper or close friend or something. A back massage at a with a masseuse is uh, <laughs> always appreciated. And this stuff is back-breaking work. All right, what's going on here? What am I missing? It's not wanting to. There we go. Okay. Just checking the spacing here. And again, I think I already stated it, but the reason why I'm using nine frames instead of ten is the bees will draw the comb a little fatter, and it makes it so much easier when you use your um, uncapping knife on these supers when it's time to extract honey. So I'm a firm believer in these nine frame spacers. I think they do an excellent job. Okay, lid on. One more done. And since this colony is also in the process of requeening itself, I'm just gonna keep this big brick on and not put the red brick, which tells me a colony is queen right in this drone brood. I'll probably uncap some of those and look for Varroa. But at this point, I'm not really treating for Varroa except for a brand new swarm. I don't treat when I have supers on, and I delay those treatments until the uh, late summer after I pull all the supers off. So, Okay, I think that's enough for one video. Uh, we've got th gotten through two of them here. I still have several more to go, so I'll save that for next video. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'm sure my fellow beekeepers are up to their elbows and swarms just like I am. So God bless you guys. Happy swarm catching, and I will see you on the next video.